If C.T. Russell was alive today, would he be accepted by the Watchtower Society? What were Russell's teachings as the founder of that organization? Were the revelations he received from God anything like what the Watchtower teaches today? Let's examine some of his teachings. He rejected organizations and believed there was no need for any today. He believed in semi-autonomous ecclesias or churches. He believed in worship of Jesus as taught in the Bible. He believed the Great Pyramid in Egypt was God's stone witness to the Bible. He believed the measurements of the interior passageways of the Great Pyramid corresponded to the Gospel of Christ as in the Bible. He believed God lived under star Alcyon in the constellation of the Pleiades. He believed all dark-skinned people would be of light complexion in paradise. He believed in phrenology, the predicting of man's character by feeling the bumps and cavities on his head. He believed in signs of mythology and Freemasonry, the winged disc, the cross and crown, etc. He believed Jesus had been crucified on a cross. He celebrated Christmas and birthdays. Service in the armed forces was permissible. He believed the beginning of the millennium had been in 1872. He believed that the year 1874 represented the presence of the Lord as bridegroom, the time of restitution beginning in October, and the beginning of the gospel harvest. He believed that the year 1878 represented Jesus assuming office as king, the end of the gospel age, the setting up of the kingdom, the awakening of the sleeping saints, the rejection of the nominal church, the choosing of a servant on earth to represent him, and favor restored to the Jews. He also believed that the year 1881 represented the fall of Babylon, the close of the high calling. He believed the time of the end was from 1799 up to 1914. He believed that Armageddon was due in 1914, that in October 1914 would begin the millennium, as he changed it from 1872. Later on, he also believed that he was a faithful and discreet slave and a Laodicean messenger to the church. Of course, there are some teachings of C.T. Russell that are similar to those of the Watchtower of today, but they are few. For example, Jesus was created, there is no hell, the soul doesn't keep on living after death, the invisible resurrection and return of Jesus, and other teachings have many variations. So if God chose this organization in or around 1918, according to the Watchtower, would God really lead his chosen ones so terribly as to completely change over 90% of his revelations? You be the judge. If Russell was alive today, he would be disfellowshipped.